I'm Heather Broadbent, holistic violinist, founder of OnlineViolin.net and creator of Violin Fitness and Violin Secrets Academy, where I train violinists all over the world how to play their favorite songs and enhance their current skill sets. Not only do I easily take violinists to the next level on their violin journey, I enable them to be transported to another world through violin performance. In this video, we're going to cover a lot of information and a very little bit of time, okay? We're going to talk about scales, putting the fingers to the violin and playing scales, okay? So the first thing, the first four secrets of putting fingers to violin, violin we have secret number one. You want to get used to using this hand here, the left hand, very simple way, get a pencil. Put it on your hand or a book. Take this left hand and pick up the pencil with your thumb and first finger like this, okay? So the first finger is on its tip. And you want to do that as relaxed as possible, okay? Do the first finger, the second finger, the third finger, the fourth finger. And this is just a good muscle exercise. You can do this anywhere you have a pencil. And then once you do it with a pencil, do it with a heavier pen or a pencil with a top on it, like a big heavy eraser so it has more weight. And you just practice picking up that pencil, making sure that your finger is on its tip and that your thumb, you're touching it with the fleshy part, okay? That's secret number one. Secret number two, you want to get what's called don't fret. If you don't know where to put your fingers on the violin, the easiest way is to get the don't fret stickers and attach them to your violin. They're not gonna harm the violin, they'll come off easily, no worries, okay? Uh, number three, you wanna get a tuner so that you can make sure your violin's in tune. Your A is at either 440 or 441 or 442, and all your strings are tuned to that A. It's gonna be really difficult to play scales or to play in tune if your violin's not in tune, so you need that tuner to tune your A string, D string, G string, and then this E string, okay? And then the final secret, when you put the fingers to the violin to stay relaxed, you wanna practice first that first finger on the A string, play it with a tuner, this is B tuner and play that many times so you can do different rhythms. The first rhythm that you can do is Mississippi Stop Stop. Do your name, Heather Broadbent. What, what, your name's not Heather Broadbent. Do your own name, you know. Different rhythms. Do at least 25 times a day on each finger. Know exactly where that finger goes when you have those tapes. Eventually you, you will be taking the tapes off, but when you get started it's really good practice to use those tapes. Practice every finger 25 times a day at least, okay? When you first get started, focus on the first finger for two, three days, second finger, two, three days, third finger, same thing, fourth finger, same thing. Make sure you stay very, very relaxed, okay? So that's the left hand and bringing the fingers to the violin. Now, the next step that we have are scales. Scales will be with you your entire violin journey from day one until the last day of your life on the violin. Scales will always be with you and you want to always practice scales. Scales are important and you want to practice the keys of the piece that you're currently working on if you're more advanced and working on something in G major, you want to play a G major scale. If you're working on something in B minor, you want to play a B minor scale. The scales that you want to first learn when you're first coming to the violin are A major, D major, G major, lower octave, and then we're going to talk about the G major upper octave as well, all in this video, okay? Very simple, I'll show you. So, A major. You're going to start on open A, first finger, for B, C sharp, and D. Now, you'll notice on your don't fret stickers, and also when I play right now, your two and three are touching. When they touch, when your fingers touch, that's a half step. When they don't touch, that's a whole step. So one to two, B to C sharp is a whole step. Two to three, they touch, that's a half step, okay? So basically, A major scale, two and three touch on the A and the E. Now you do this after you've done uh, at least a week's worth of 25 times on each finger, okay? So uh, you, want, you want to make sure you're really solid with each finger and then uh, do the scale, okay? Make sure your fingers are tabletops, all right? So, so the first secret to playing scales is to play the scale, okay, with the tuner and using the don't fret, okay? So that's our A major scale. All right, now how you practice scales. Second secret, you want to make sure you're completely there in your head, so use a timer. Sometimes when we practice scale, it's very easy to get mesmerized or hypnotized, and it's like, whoa, your eyes get fuzzy, and you're like, whoa, and you're not really there. Set your timer to like five minutes or 10 minutes. It's gonna be a different uh, time length for you and where you are in your violin journey, but set that timer, and when you play your scale, when you practice your scale, don't just do single notes like I just did. Okay, do different rhythms. Note to note. 
we're getting here into our next secret. Okay, the very big secret of scales is that you remember how one finger relates to the next. What we talked about, whole steps or half steps? Do they touch, do they not touch? Keep the finger, one finger down until you put the next finger down. If you lift your fingers off, you're not gonna have a guide. You need that guide. So you wanna make sure that you feel how those fingers feel when they come down, okay? So one note to the next. And really, really listen, okay? And you do that all the way through the scale. The next secret is to do broken thirds. Broken thirds means to skip a note. I also call it skipping. So you go from A to C sharp. B to D. C sharp to E. D to F sharp. All the way up the scale. And you can do that with different rhythms as well, okay? So the big secret of practicing scales is to make it fun. Have fun with it. Don't just play the same old thing over and over and over again. Play from note to note. Play with different rhythms. Play broken thirds. Play three notes at a time. Okay, and that's just on the A major scale. Now, after you've done this all with the A major scale, it's very easy. Move it over to the D major scale. And how we do that, you just start this on the D string and do the exact same thing and end on the A string. Okay, same finger pattern, two and three touch on the D string and two and three touch on the A string. And think about those note names, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Okay, practice the same way, have fun with it, set the timer, do different rhythms, two notes, three notes, long, short, short, long. Long, short would be short, long. Now, when you do the D major scale, then you can move it over to the G major scale. Same pattern, you just move over and start on the G string. Two and three touch on the G, and two and three touch on the D, and then go back down. So once you learn the one octave A major scale, you know three different scales on the violin. A major, D major, G major, okay? And practice it all the different ways. And then, when you feel really confident, bring that fourth finger in on the way down on the scale, okay? So, for example, on the G major scale, use fourth finger instead of open D. Same with the A major scale. When you come, when you come down, use a fourth finger instead of open E, okay? Now, I'm going to give you a next step. After you learn all three of those scales, then the next step is to learn C natural on the A string. That's when your two comes down next to the one, what we talked about as a half step. So you practice on your open A to C sharp. I call it I am glad. Go to C natural. I am mad. You hear it sounds different. It's sad. It's, it's sad. So we have I am glad. I am sad with low two. And then I am mad. And you can practice that with the tremolo if you want. That's the fast bow stroke, okay? But basically, you want to learn that low two. The reason why, the second octave of the G major scale, we're going to play a low two on the A and the E string, okay? So I'm gonna show that to you. You start with G, third finger on D. Okay, two and one touch on the A and the E. I know I'm going, going really, really fast, but you have the opportunity with this video to stop it and to rewind it and to learn all these secrets. It's gonna take a little while. It's not gonna come in a day or in 30 minutes. I'm telling you, it's gonna take practice. But you have had the calling. You felt it here in your heart that you want to play the violin. So this is the foundation for your journey, okay? All right, once you have that second octave with that low two on the A and the E strings, then you can do your first two octave G major scale. You already know the lower octave. And you just learned the upper octave. There you go, you have it. Your two octave G major scale. High two on G, high two on D, low two on A, low two on E. Bravo. Now, in this video, you just learned three one octave scales, major scales on the violin, and one two octave major scale on the violin. You learned how to put the fingers down, to listen to your intonation, to check with the tuner, and you also learned that it's very, very important from the very beginning, when you come to the violin, to be pure in heart, fresh from the start, and happy practicing. <laughs>